Welcome back to another quick episode of CAD Jungle. In today's quick episode, we're going to be creating this drill bit. Let's hop right to it. Let's start out by creating a new component and let's call it drill bit. Let's start out by creating a cylinder, starting in the center, make it 5.5 millimeters and 100 millimeters in length. Let's go ahead and use the coil command, put it on his face, start once again in the center. Drag it out to the edge. Type's going to be revolution in height. Diameter is going to be 5.5 millimeters. Revolution is going to be set to 2. Height is going to be set to negative 51 millimeters. Angle 0 degrees, triangular, internal. Section position is going to be outside. Section size can be whatever you like, but I set mine to be 1.375. Let's go ahead and create a sketch on this face here. Start off with the center diameter circle. Let's bring it over to the edge here. So we see the square lines into place. We're going to make this 4.5 millimeters. Let's use the project command. And we're going to select project to include 3D geometry, excuse me. We can go ahead and turn off both bodies. Let's check the 3D sketch uh, option here in the sketch palette. Select the line tool. Drag it over until we get the actual point here and you see a square. We drag the line out, rotate, but actually what we want to do is we want to make sure we rotate around this axis here, the red axis. We want to rotate until the Z axis actually lines up till it's almost tangent with that line. Okay. When you drag the line out, and as you can see, the line follows the blue dotted line. It's actually following the same path. We'll make this nine millimeters in length. Type that in and hit enter. And next, we we'll use the tangent command. Select the line we just selected and the coil outline. We can go ahead and finish the sketch. Let's go ahead and bring back the top body, which is a cylinder. We're gonna use the sweep command. Select a circle of profile. The path, it's gonna be the coil path, the outline, as well as the line we just created. The orientation is going to be parallel and operation is going to be set to cut. Next, we're going to use the circular pattern tool. Type is going to be set to features. We're going to select the sweep we just created. The objects are already selected. Axis, we can either select the Y axis here or we can select the actual cylinder body. Whichever is easiest for you, but I'm going to go ahead just to be sure. Select the Y axis. I want the quantity to be two. Compute option can be either one. I set it to adjust. Now let's go ahead and select the top view. Let's use the sketch tool. Select the top face. Uncheck 3D sketch. Select the line command, construction type, start in the center and bring it up about so. Doesn't have to be any specific length. Turn off construction. We're gonna use the line command again. We're gonna make a triangle like so. Make sure it extends a little bit beneath 
the drill bit. This has some dimensions to lock it in place. Make it one millimeter. We're going to set this to be 60 degrees between these two lines. We're going to make this three millimeters. And we can set this to whatever you like. Fully defined, finish the sketch. Let's use the revolve command. The profile is already selected. The axis we're going to select is going to be the construction line. Directions one side and operation is going to be set to cut. As you can see, it's red, which means it's going to be cutting into the actual uh, drill bit. Click OK. Let's chamfer the edge at the very back and make it 0.5 millimeters. Let's give the entire drill bit a fillet and make it 0.1 millimeters. And that's your complete drill bit. I hope you liked this quick tutorial. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.